Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Nora. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Okay, Colin. So, what should we talk about today? Hmm. Well, you know, I was thinking about collocations. You know, words、uh, that are used together. Hmm. Collocations 就是指的单词的搭配。那我们记单词的时候啊，记习惯的搭配，这的确是很重要的一个步骤。So, what's the word we're going over? Well, I was thinking about the collocations of the word "keep." Keep, but that's such a common verb. Everybody knows it. Yeah, but I've heard many students making mistakes when using this word. And also, "keep" can go with many words and be used in different contexts.、Mm, all right, I guess we can give it a try. Great. Okay, so the first collocation of "keep" I can think of.、Um, That we should look at are keep a secret and keep a promise. So the verb keep has two main uses. 那么首先第一个呢就是保留某件事儿，在 keep 后面加名词 ，it means to retain possession. Yeah, and also not to share it with anyone else. Yeah, so that's why it's often used with the words secret and promise. 意思就是说保密。遵守承诺。My friend just told me that she's pregnant, but she doesn't want anyone else to know yet. I don't know how I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> Or we can say, I don't know how I will keep her secret. Yeah, and you said you'd arrive by Monday. I just hope you can keep your promise. We need you here. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my promise. So in here, 呢，大家要注意啊。Keep 在用的时候是有时态变化的，比如说，在过去呢就是不规则的动词 ，kept. Right. So he kept his promise. Yeah, and he has kept a secret from me. Okay. The next expression is keeping it safe. We use it when looking after something. Yeah. For example, the last time I was home, my mom pulled out my primary school uniform. She had been keeping it safe all these years. I had no idea about that. <laughs> And always be careful with your keys. Keep them somewhere safe so you know where to find them. 是的，那钥匙啊，真的非常的重要，不留心就掉了。所以要 keep it safe. 那这个短语的意思就是说，收好某件东西，放在安全的位置。Right. Another common phrase is keep in mind, which has Quite a literal meaning, you know. You keep something in your mind. You remember it until you need it. 对，这个短语还是很好记的，而且翻译过来跟字面意思就是一样的。Keep in mind 就是说把某件事情放在心上，记住某件事儿。注意呢，这个地方 mind 不需要加 s， 变成复数。So when you get some helpful advice from someone, you can say thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, and keep in mind that your girlfriend's words are always right. <laughs> <laughs> you should say that to Max. I'm sure he knows it already. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully students will keep a few of these expressions in mind so that they can use them later. Hmm. 那我们刚刚讲到的这个搭配啊 ，keep 后面都是加了名词。其实除此之外呢 ，keep 也经常和形容词搭配，表示说。保持某个状态。Yeah, this is why we always say keep quiet, meaning remain quiet. Right. So, for instance, Colin kept quiet while I was talking. Oh yeah, no one is allowed to talk when you are talking. You the boss. <laughs> Keep it a secret. <laughs> 就是真正让老板听到就不太好了啊。Okay, and keep quiet, everyone. Our podcast is on now. Yeah, yeah. And I just thought another common phrase I use in life: keep away. Keep away from Nora. She's quite dangerous. <laughs> no, not don't keep away from me. 那我们说的这个 keep away 就是指的走开，保持距离，通常是用在非常危险的事情。Like keep away from the bushes. There are snakes in there. Or we can say to keep something away. Hmm. Keep something away. 就是说，把某件东西拿开了。So last time I remember, 
uh, you wanted Blair to keep a bird egg away from you. <laughs> That's not an egg. It's a little bird baby. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so afraid of birds. <laughs> you were scared out of your wits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now,、um, if you're advising someone or you're warning them, you can use "keep your distance." 嗯，就是如果是在警告别人的时候啊，你就可以用到这个短语 "keep your distance." 其实和前面的 "keep something away" 是一个意思，都是说保持距离。Right. For instance, "keep your distance from the fire." The smoke is still dangerous. 对，而且在生活中我们还会用到的另外一个跟 "keep" 相关的短语。我相信大家可能也听过啊，叫做 keep in touch. You can tell someone that you want to remain in contact with them by saying this. 意思就是说保持联系。Now this is usually with someone who maybe you don't see very often, and as you're leaving, you might say, "Well, it was great bumping into you. Let's keep in touch." Yeah, or maybe don't be a stranger. Keep in touch. 嗯，虽然听上去呢有点像场面话。You know, people don't always keep in touch with them after saying this. <laughs> well, yeah, you said it. Okay, another handy phrasal verb is keep up or keep up with. 嗯，那 up 这介词啊，非常常见的就是和 keep 搭配。那 keep up or keep up with 就是说赶上、跟上。Right, especially if you're falling behind, and there's a then there's a couple of meanings. You can use it when you're falling behind in your understanding. Yeah, you know, it's really hard to keep up with native speakers when they speak at natural pace. <laughs> Same feeling when you are speaking Chinese. <laughs> 可能学语言的时候都会有这种感觉吧，就跟不太上。那我们这个时候就可以用到刚刚这个短语了。Or if you're walking with someone who's really slow, you might say, "Come on, keep up." Yeah. 在这种情况下，其实就是指的快点走，跟上，那指的是实际的距离了。Okay, since we mentioned so many expressions already, I think we need to keep track of all of them. Yeah, that's another good one. Keep track of things. We use it to mean helping to get organized and staying informed. 对，但其实啊，这个短语也可以有两个含义。一个是实际的去追踪某件事情，知道它的具体位置啊。另外一个呢，就是指抽象的，指的是知道信息、记录信息、跟上某件事儿。Right, like I'm sorry, I am listening to you. I'm just trying to keep track of where my kids have gone. <笑>那在这个语境下，其实就是指的说，我想知道我的孩子去哪儿了，想知道关于他们的信息。Yeah, and、uh, I use Apple Calendar to. Keep track of all my appointments and meetings. Me too. It's a very convenient method. 那苹果的日历啊，还有备忘录都可以很好的帮助我们记录 Keep track of all the important things. Right. And do you know this one? Keep tabs on someone or something. Yeah. It's similar to keeping track of them, but it means to watch something or someone carefully. 意思就是密切关注某件事儿 Right to monitor their activity, to keep an eye on things. Right, you know, I try to keep tabs on my bank account so I don't spend too much. <laughs> And I keep tabs on how many coffees I have each day. Great, 不然一晚上真的容易睡不着啊。Okay, it seems that you really like to keep on top of things. Yeah, more or less. I want to have everything under control. <laughs> 那刚刚这个短语啊 ，keep on top of things， 就是说想要掌控事情。Yeah, I like to keep on top of all my administration tasks at work. I do a little bit every day. Yeah, and I've been keeping an eye on our time, and I'm afraid it's up. <laughs> well, I think we kept our promise and gave everyone many collocations of the word keep to practice. <laughs> 对。那今天呢，我们真的学了很多跟 keep 有关的搭配。那今天的节目呢，也到这里结束了。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。
。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频了。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。This is Colin. Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Nora. See you next time. Bye. Bye.